Hey, what's happening everybody? I'm Nora from TechnoBuffalo.com and uh, I've got a, an email that somebody sent me, I'm embarrassed to say this, but a while ago. Uh, it was in 2011, but not very far into it. So uh, I apologize, it's taken me so long to finally do this. I got this email from Nick and I emailed him back and said, you know, this is the kind of thing that uh, I've been asked a lot and you know, John and, and lots of people I know who uh, are tech journalists, tech reviewers, YouTubers who do tech stuff have been asked the same question a bunch. And so I'm going to do a video on it or a series of videos or something. And I've been meaning to do it. It's just taking me till now to finally start doing it. So Nick, I apologize, but hopefully better late than never. Hopefully everybody else, you know, I can uh, provide some insight for you. And, um, well, I'm just going to read the email. Uh, Mr. Kravitz, oh, please call me Nick. Um, I've been watching you for years and I loved all of your videos on PhoneDog. You always made that personal connection with your viewers that I don't get, uh, blah, blah, skip that part. Uh, I've also been watching John for Lakers and The Soldier Knows Best for the same amount of time and I've always loved you and them. I'm excited now that you are all part of the herd. Yeah, me too. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing more of your videos. I'm a sophomore in high school and started tech reviewing YouTube channel with my friend. Right now our reviews are pretty much just pictures with our voiceover because we can't get any products. My question to you is what advice do you have for us? How can we expand the number of subscribers we have? How can we get products? Thanks for taking the time to read this. Uh, Sign Nick. Yeah, Nick, I took the time to read it. I took the time to email you back, but uh, apparently <laughs> it took me a long time to find the time to, to actually uh, answer the question. So, uh, P.S. Here is the link to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash trustedtechreviews. So there you go. There's a little plug for Nick's site. You can go check that out, everybody, if you want to or not. Um, so I'm going to try to start answering this question. Um, obviously, you know, my experiences, my opinions, whatever, different than other people's. So definitely going to follow up this video with other videos. Definitely going to get John um, to lend, you know, some of his insights as well. Because uh, it's something that, that we've been wanting to do and something that, you know, one of the reasons I, I when I left Phone Dog um, back in last October, some of you know I was at Phone Dog, some of you don't. Some of you are like, why are you on John's channel? We already went over that. Uh, when I left Phone Dog, I, I wasn't looking to, to start up with another site or anything like that. I just I needed a break from a bunch of different things. Uh, but one of the things that attracted me to taking this gig with Techno Buffalo, I'd known John for a while, I think the world of him, but we talked a lot about wanting to do stuff, um, not just reviewing products, but also doing more stuff with the audience and with people who, you know, are interested in doing stuff like what we do, because the, the opportunities for doing this have just grown enormously with the internet. Um, you know, it's so easy to start a blog, start a YouTube channel. It's hard to make a living doing it, but it's easy to start, which is really cool. So I will definitely, you know, get John on camera, um, other people as well, and, and get more, you know, more uh, information and insight from other voices if that's interesting to you guys to hear more about this. But for me to try to answer Nick's question, here's what I would say. Uh, first off, you know, how do you increase your number of subscribers? There are people on YouTube who know way more about that than I do. Uh, with Phone Dog, we just started doing the videos. It wasn't something a lot of people were doing back when we started doing the videos. Uh, a lot of there were there were sites out there, other phone sites that you know had been along around for longer, were better known than we were. Obviously, other tech blogs and that kind of thing, but not all that many people doing YouTube videos in of uh, phones in particular. And I've always been interested in video making. Um, and uh, it's just something I wanted to do. I was actually at a show at the CTI trade show, and they had a big uh, these big posters up for this contest they were having, the, the Video Chronicles, Submit Your Video Journal of the Show. And I had a little point-and-shoot camera. It shot like 30-second MPEG clips, and I'm the worst photographer probably in the whole tech blogosphere. And uh, I was taking photos of the different phones, the new phones, to put them on the blog, and I started shooting some video clips just for fun. There was a guy dressed up in a big Blackberry costume, like a life-size, you know, like a mascot dressed up like a Blackberry. So I took some video of him because I thought it was funny. And then I saw these signs for the contest and I kept going. I shot a bunch of video and on the plane ride home, I took out my laptop flying home from Orlando. It was in Orlando that year, back to California, and started editing this video together. And it was just really fun. And uh, so I entered the contest. I won the contest because nobody else entered. And... Um, and then we started doing these YouTube videos. And if you go back and look on uh, the Krabby Krav channel, these first YouTube videos, I mean, I think they're all pretty funny. You know, the first ones, the last ones, but the first one's definitely funny. I was trying to do this thing called Phone in 60 Seconds. And, 
you know, do the whole review in 60 seconds to give it like a story and a theme. And I quickly learned, and, and here's the long-winded first part of my answer to you. I quickly learned, you know, give the people what you want if you're interested in, in, in growing your subscriber base. Now that could be finding your own unique style for doing things. Uh, maybe you're funny. Maybe you're a developer and you have insight into that kind of stuff. Maybe you get all the, you know, somehow you have a hookup to get all the hot stuff before it comes out. You know, maybe you've got a, uh, a camera planted in Google's labs. I don't know. But um, so one thing is, you know, to give the people what they want while still being true to yourself. And for me, that turned into finding, you know, the best way to talk about these phones, because that's why I got into doing this, because I thought it was really cool to all these new phones and, you know, Back then, a few years ago especially, the phones were just getting more and more advanced all the time with new features and, you know, the industry grew so fast. And so that quickly turned into basically just a little intro, then the phone on camera and me talking about the phone. Uh, you know, I never did videos like this where it was just me talking into the camera. Uh, well, rarely. Sometimes we did. But, but mostly it was, you know, the phone on camera and then me just giving my kind of honest opinion. Um marketing yourself, you know, learning uh, YouTube search engine optimization, how to use tags, all that kind of stuff is important. I'm not an expert on that, uh, but we'll try to get some people in here who are. Um, you know, building your subscriber following on YouTube, again, there, there are strategies for that. Partnering with other sites, find other channels you like, do things. But you know, when I was still at Phone Dog, John and I did a thing where we, we traded videos. You know, I appeared on his channel and, and he on ours, and that helps kind of open you up to, to you know, new subscribers, if your video shows up on somebody else's channel, maybe some of those people will then go subscribe to you. Uh, definitely having a website, uh, so you can you know show up in, in regular Google and other search engine uh, results definitely helps, because that can drive traffic back to YouTube. Uh, and then there's Facebook and Twitter, which are huge sort of, you know, in themselves and getting involved in that stuff. So you, it's definitely more than just, you know, you have to make good videos. Uh, and whether it's good because you're great on camera, or it's good because you have great special effects, or it's good because you get products and people want to see the products, whatever it is, you have to have good content, but then you have to know, you have to do, be doing all these things. Uh, you know, again, YouTube search and, and subscriber strategies, uh, website, you know, social media, all that different stuff definitely helps. Um, as far as getting the products go, people always ask me, they always ask John, they say, Ad Brothers, how do I get the products? Just go get them. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about approaching the companies. Um, it's harder now than it used to be because there's so many more sites doing video and reviews who want products to review. Um, and, and, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. But the first thing you need to do is just get products and review them. You know, borrow. When I first started with with uh, Phone Dog, I would get even before that when I, I was writing for a website called PowerBook Central, and uh, we didn't do video stuff then. But to get stuff to review. Um, you know, sort of two strategies. One is contact the companies and ask them for stuff to review, but that's kind of harder. Second is just get it. So buy it or borrow it or trade for it or, or you know, whatever it is you want to do. Um, at Phone Dog at the beginning, I would borrow phones from people and, you know, I'd have to like give them my phone so they could use and we would swap SIM cards and whatever and I would play with their phone you know, for, for a few days so I could write a review, because you can't really do a good review, you know, just after five minutes of using it. Uh, or I would buy a phone and then resell it used either on eBay or Craigslist or something like that. Uh, I would trade phones. I went on like Howard forums all the time and traded phones through the mail with people. Uh, sometimes I would buy a phone from a carrier and you have like that 30 day window when you can return it. Uh, and then I would return it. Um, which you can't do too many times because they'll catch on. But, you know, you have to just find a way to do it. I'm not saying go spend all your money, go broke, you know, whatever. Don't run up a credit card bill. But you, you, have, to, you have to put some effort into it to get started. And then once you have, you know, a following, once you have some subscribers, some views, that kind of thing, it's easier when you start emailing the companies and calling the companies and asking for review stuff. I would say don't start trying to get phones from Verizon. Start with accessories, start with apps, because these smaller companies are more likely to send you stuff. Uh, they need the publicity more. Uh, their products are often, you know, less expensive. Uh, Verizon sending you a phone, especially if it has service on it, is a lot riskier than a case company sending you a case, because the case is worth less, the service is, you know, there's no service on a case, that kind of thing. It's less of a risk. Um, so you also, when you approach these companies, you have to be professional. You know, write a good email, get somebody to help you with it, make sure the spelling and the grammar is correct, 
you know, sell yourself to them, but make it short and to the point. Tell them why it is, you know, they should send you something. And, uh, and then when you're done, send them a link to it, you know. It, it, building these relationships with people is really important, whether it's viewers or the PR people at the companies or, you know, whoever it is. Um, also, you know, if you're thinking about getting started on this just yourself, get a partner. Get a couple of partners, you know. Partner up with some other small sites and work together and post each other's stuff. And, you know, you're really just trying to build audience. And, um, you know, you see on the big blogs, we report on on different companies. I mean, big blogs, blogs bigger than Techno Buffalo, you know, the Engadgets and Gizmodos and CNETs of the world. You know, they'll report a story that was on somebody else's blog and give a link back because that's how the web works. And, you know, again, you can do that on YouTube with kind of guest appearances on different people's channels and stuff. Um, and then you can do that you know, on the web, on Twitter, by link sharing and all that kind of stuff as well. And that stuff's really important because, you know, the nice thing about the web is most of it's free for people to read. So, yeah, Techno Buffalo is in competition with, you know, whoever, with Into Mobile. But also, if somebody's really into phones, they can read both of our sites. They can read Into Mobile, you know, and Slash Gear, whoever, because they're free. And so, you know, it's competition, but it's also working together, sharing links and that kind of thing. And, and that's why it's called the web, because it's all kind of intertwined like that. Um, what else? What else can I tell you about growing subscribers and that kind of thing? You know, if, if you're really... Uh, you're really into this also with your reviews. You, you, you want to make, you, you need to practice. You need to make sure that, you know, again, whatever it is you're doing is working for the audience. So, you know, like I said, I first started out trying to do these things where it was like a little theme and a little story. And it was either I was trying to be funny or I was trying to like, you know, I would shoot them in different places. The first video I ever did, first phone review was in my backyard. And then I did one like, in front of the TV with MTV on behind me because it was about a music phone. I did these different things and that was fun but then I noticed that that didn't affect the view count. And what affected the view count was how interesting and unique was the content. So again sometimes that's getting a phone first, sometimes that's just reporting on something unique. Uh, and maybe it's an app. Apps are cheaper than phones. Easier for you to get a hold of a bunch of apps to try out. Um, you know, maybe it's something about, you know, rooting an Android phone or jailbreaking an iPhone, or maybe it's a how-to. Maybe you can do a tutorial to help solve some problem. Like, you know, how do I, uh, I just got a Blackberry for the first time. How do I use it? You have to be creative and think of those kinds of things. And, um, and then promote yourself. Send the links out. Don't spam people, but send them. Go to sites that you read, bigger sites, and oftentimes they'll have a little thing that says send us tips. Techno Buffalo does. Send us the tips. And, you know, Odds are, not very many of your tips are going to get published, but if one of them does, that could really help. That could really give you a little jolt of traffic uh, that will really, you know, help you out. To that end, on Techno Buffalo on our website, we have a, a link, you know, asking for user-submitted content. We're, we're really into that. We're going to be doing a lot more stuff with that uh, in the next couple of months. Uh, but, you know, we, we're looking for good stuff all the time. So definitely send your stuff to bigger sites and see if, you know, see if they'll publish it. See if uh, somebody will write back and give you an idea for something they would publish. You know, that kind of thing. You really, you have to, uh, you just have to keep pounding the pavement, as they say. And don't get discouraged if, you know, you think you've done something awesome and it gets, like, five views. Because the next thing you do just might happen to hit on, you know, what the public's interested in. Uh, try to go to events if you can, especially if you live near a place like San Francisco or New York City where there are lots of tech events. Uh, shoot video at, you know, different places. Go to, if there's an Apple store or you have to ask for permission at the stores. But if they're tech events, or even if it's not like a huge trade show, but it's like a, a local tech club or something, interview different people. When you interview people, then those people will come to your site to check out the video. They'll tell their friends, that kind of thing. And that's how things start to grow. You know, the whole social networking is through telling other people. So uh, I don't know, there's been 14 minutes of me going like that and talking a lot. But I, I finally wanted to start answering Nick's question. Um, and wanted to throw this out to everybody out there watching, you know, well, like I said, definitely going to get John on camera here, uh, try to get a few other people I know, both from the mobile tech world, but also just the tech world in general, talk about this stuff. You know, how do you grow an audience video-wise and also other, you know, otherwise, how do, you, how do you get products to review, all that kind of stuff. But really, you just have to start. And you have to start and you have to keep doing it. And if it's something you really want to do, you know, you're going to find a way to do it. Um, I'm not saying, you know, if you're... Uh, you know, if, if, you, if you're an adult and you have a job and you have rent to pay and bills to pay, I'm not saying go quit your job and just start doing YouTube 24-7. 
because it, it, it takes a while and it's hard to make a living doing doing YouTube. And I'm not saying if you're a kid, blow off your homework and just do this. But I am saying, you know, find a way to do it and keep doing it and try different things and just try to get better and better at it. And, uh, you know, that's how you get started. So I hope that was helpful, at least a little bit. Nick, thanks for the question. And uh, people out there, if you, you know, if there's stuff you want you want to know about, specifically about this whole tech vlogging thing, you know, put your questions in the comments, put them on the website, and, uh, you know, we're going to do this. We'll do this for a little while and uh, try to share some of our experience with you. I don't know if it's wisdom. John has wisdom. I don't know if I have wisdom. But uh, we'll, we'll share what we know. All right, Till so next time, my name is Noah. Thanks for watching. And uh, it's almost NBA playoff time. Go Knicks. I live in California now. The Warriors aren't going to be in the playoffs. But uh, I used to live in New York. I'll always be a Knicks fan. Go Knicks. Till next time.